They drew straws to see which one would go back. It was Thomas. I'll catch up with you, he said, and Alfred walked on toward the valley. When Alfred came to a rise in the path, he looked back for Thomas. He did not see him anywhere, but he did see Harold. The doll was on the roof of the hut again. As Alfred watched, Harold kneeled and stretched out a bloody skin to dry in the sun. It's not the same story, but still pretty good. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Scary Stories Told in the Dark, a movie that is based on the series that was written by Alvin Schwartz. I remember getting these books during the Scholastic School Sale uh, at my grade school, for those of Canadians, I don't know if the Americans had something similar like that, but I remember getting all of these. Uh, this is the only one for some reason I have left still. I have always remembered these novels pure purely because of how horrifying that artwork is. The artwork has always, always been a giant selling point of these novels. And at least to say that artwork, that style, that visual element, does cross over into the film as much as it can for a PG-13 movie. This film is literally the PG-13 version of it. Being set in the 60s, the late 60s, having a bunch of child actors, and all the while they're being haunted and hunted by a supernatural force. This film does combine elements of the novel, short stories, of several different little stories, and they do put it into this film with an overall arc that is based on a book. This book was written by the Black Sheep often regarded as insane, crazy, monstrous uh, member of the Bellow family. And all the while these kids are being hunted, they're trying to figure out what happened with the Bellow family and how that relates to everything that's happened. I did like the visual elements of this movie. I thought the DOP was trying his hardest with what he had. There's a lot of shots in this film that normally would not be very scary. They do do a lot of tricks, they do do some movements that keep you engaged. The visual style of the film, especially with the creatures and the monsters, are pretty good. They push that PG-13 rating as hard as they bloody well can. Uh, considering Harold, Harold's story is probably one of the best ones visually in terms of a, oh, that's kind of a cool idea. I thought that his was one of the best in this uh, film. However, there is a one very, very big factor that this film does suffer from horribly, and that's jump scare music. It kind of feels like this was something that a producer latched on near the end. They're like, you know, there's not enough jump scares. And this film doesn't need them. They have enough elements in there to be a good scare. It's unfortunate too because the first opening 20 minutes really sets the stage for these characters. It sets the stage for how the film's going to be. But then one of the friends scares another and there's a jump scare sound to it and like, oh no. Admittedly, the main story is kind of interesting. Coming to its conclusion, you really don't stick around with it. It's not the thing that's drawing you in, seeing how they incorporate all these little short stories. And some of them work well, some of them work really, really well, the red spot being one of them, and others kind of come across as funny, being the one, the, the waifu one. I don't know what it is, but it looks like a Japanese waifu. Um, that one it, it's not as scary as I thought it would be. Visually, it's like, okay, I'm waiting for the punch, but it comes in and, it, and you're just like, oh, right? This film does not hold back its punches, though, in terms of what happens to the kids, at least in some ways. I did appreciate that aspect of it. This film does have those elements, those cheap scares, those ridiculous moments. And it's unfortunate because this conflicts with the film's overall idea and setting and atmosphere. And the two are constantly colliding and they're kind of almost sabotaging each other. I did enjoy this film. I think that the actors, the kid actors especially, are very good. They do a great job in this movie. They do add a little bit more elements to it than I was expecting. And some of the scary moments are good, but considering how disjointed they are, there's no real connection aside from a book, which you know, there's better ways and there's worse ways to try and do this. The whole time I was actually comparing this movie to Goosebumps, I didn't mind Goosebumps, but I keep forgetting I saw that movie. This movie I will remember, but I also remember how a little bit disappointed I was. In the end, I'm going to give Scary Stories Told in the Dark a 3 out of 7. I would still say you should see it if you're interested in horror like this. This does push the PG-13 as much as possible, but it's up to you. I kind of feel that this was a little bit of a misadventure, and considering Gamilio del Toro had been trying to make this for a 
a long time. It's a little bit of an unsettling, sort of unsatisfying sort of idea. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Until then, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. <laughs> By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural, or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy, get in with the ladies, guy. Hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy, you're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.